All right, good morning everyone. It is the next day here and the start of a new herping vlog. Um, this is the day after, the next morning after herping in the cane fields in South Florida. Um, I'm getting gas for my truck right now as we are working our way in the central North Florida. Um, it's pretty early in the morning right now and I'm trying to get to a spot before it gets too hot to walk around and look for some snakes. So hopefully that will be successful and I'll show you what we find once we get there. All right, it took a little bit, but we finally have a pygmy rattlesnake that's right here. This is my first time seeing a pygmy outside of the Everglades in Florida and it's Will's Lifer. So we'll make sure to get some footage of this guy and maybe we'll see some more, but really awesome. First rattlesnake of this Florida adventure that we're on and he's just on the side of the trail. All right, so one last look at that pygmy rattlesnake. Just again, sitting on the side of the trail here. Zoom in a little more. So yeah, really stunning animal. These things for me are so hard to find despite being common for a lot of other people. So I'm always happy to come across one. It's my first one since May. These are the smallest rattlesnakes in the world. So it's really cool. This one, I, it can definitely get bigger. I think this one might not even be a foot long. So yeah. Just sitting on the side of the trail waiting for an amphibian or a lizard to go by. Let's get back on the trail and see what else we can find. Alright, we just got our second dusky pygmy rattlesnake on the day a few minutes after that last one. And this one too is also just curled up on the side of the hiking trail right here. So, that's really cool to get two pretty close to each other. I think we can potentially find more, but yeah, you just contempt to just sit there. Not even tongue flicking, just completely chill. Awesome. So here's a look at this just stunning habitat that we're exploring right now. I think this is just an absolutely beautiful area and all the pygmies are just on the side of the grass here that we're walking on so we're keeping our eyes peeled um, the second one was definitely larger than the first but I think as the light is starting to get higher in the day it might be drawing more snakes out to bask along the side of the trail but we'll see mosquitoes I think we'll say the one thing they're worse than I was expecting them to be um, Nothing like the Everglades, but definitely an annoying, at least, and is made for some challenging photography. But we're working through it. We're seeing snakes, so it's making up for that, and maybe we'll see more. But yeah, just another look at this gorgeous habitat we're exploring. All right, everyone, so just by this little plant right here is our third, get a better shot of him there, our third dusky pygmy rattlesnake of the day. So that's already a pretty good sign. I think we're going to start heading back soon because we it's starting to get a little hot. But yeah, zoom in a little more. There you go. They're just literally on the side of the trail soaking up the sun waiting for some lizards to run by. All right, so the pygmy rattlesnake has decided to move. Um, its head is on the other side of this plant here. So I guess you can kind of see it right there. But yeah, we're just going to leave this guy be, let him enjoy some sun, and we'll keep on walking and see if we can find any more. But there he goes. 
just absolutely beautiful snakes. I love the pattern on these guys. All right, away we go. All right, Will just spotted our fourth dusky pygmy rattlesnake of the day. This guy's tongue flicking, so he's pretty alerted. Honestly, this is the best look that we've had of a pygmy rattlesnake. Absolutely stunning snakes. And they're all, all these pygmies have been so tiny too. It's been crazy. So we'll get some additional footage of this guy and we'll keep on going. And at this point, I think we might see some more. Pretty sure that this is a limpkin over here who is just hunting in this little channel. And I just absolutely love how the sunlight's coming through and illuminating the trail. So, pretty views. So on the side, we had just stopped on the side of the road because there are three sandhill cranes that are walking. I think these are some of the coolest birds that we have in the U.S. And down in the Everglades, they're not really common, but here as we're working our way to northern Florida, they're much more abundant. So I think that's really cool. All right, we just road cruised two gopher tortoises. There's one up that way and there's one right there. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Let's get closer and get a better look. Well, we got our first gopher tortoise of the trip and this is Will's Lifer gopher tortoise, I believe. So just an incredibly awesome find. These species are so important as a keystone species to these long reef pine habitats and there he goes, charging right around Will. <laughs> they move so fast. I think he's gonna go to his burrow up here. Let's see what he does. All right, we got our third gopher tortoise, and he's just sitting on the side of the road here, completely unfazed by us, which is awesome. Really cool find. Alright, so we have our fourth gopher tortoise. This one's right up on top of this hill here. You can kind of get too close, but you can see him moving right there. He's probably just going to go right back into the burrow. A bunch of gopher tortoises, we've been watching them just come right onto the road, and oh yeah, he's gone. So yeah, that's four gopher tortoises in like the last five or ten minutes, which is crazy.
All right, we finally got a second species of snake on the day. We just rode cruise. This is a young southern black racer, and he was just on the road. I will made an excellent grab that I was unable to get on camera, but an absolutely stunning snake. Now, focus a little more. There we go. But, yeah, really cool find. Finally get a snake on these dirt roads here. Because I know they have more patterning when they're younger. Yeah, the but the, they really do get that. I've seen them with that red patterning right on the ventral side. All right, going to release the racer. And yeah, already gone. Bear running, the, running up there. That's a bear. Uh, it came out absolutely horrible, but that is a bear that just ran out in front of us. Oh my god, we're gonna get closer and see if we can get better footage. They literally disappeared as a dot. All right, so here are the bear tracks. I mean, that's for reference how big this animal was. You can kind of see it going this way. The bear probably darted off into this wooded area here. It, I we don't even I don't even hear it anymore, so it's probably long gone, but. That is the second time I have seen a bear in the wild outside of Yellowstone National Park. Um, it was an American black bear. Here in Florida, there is actually really good populations of bears, but they're so secretive. And they really only come out in like the evening and the early morning. And I know it just appeared as a dog, but we have proof that, as you can see, bear tracks. So... Maybe we'll see another bear. Honestly, if we see a bear and not a herp tonight, I will be the rare case where I'll be satisfied. All right, so we'll just point it out. That's the bear track there again. Foot for reference, you can see a track here, track here, track here, track right there. And it looks like it probably came up the side of that embankment and then disappeared over there. Really awesome. All right, so we're just walking. Uh, cruising this road here haven't seen any snakes yet uh, we just stopped for something what I thought was a snake but probably wasn't so we'll see if we find anything who knows it just got dark pretty recently so maybe something will turn up maybe something won't only one way to find out okay everyone so I'm at my destination for tonight um, honestly this was a really productive day to say the least getting those four pygmies in central Florida and then getting the gopher tortoises and the racer in northern Florida which is honestly really great especially the pygmies um, and yeah night cruising didn't go necessarily well herp wise but we were able to see an American black bear which is the first black bear that I've seen in years so that was just awesome but yeah I think the area that we were night cruising just wasn't really good at night and it's more better for diurnal cruising so what, what i'm gonna do is we're gonna get up relatively early tomorrow we're gonna head back out to that same spot and try and hit up some of those roads in the morning and just see if they're better um, before things get too hot and then we'll just figure out what we want to do after that but this is going to be the end of the first day in this video and i'll pick up tomorrow morning all right good morning everyone it is the second day here in northern florida i'm on my way I'm on my way right now to go pick up Will from the hotel. We're going to go back out to the Sand Hills and do some cruising this morning, and we'll continue to herp after that. So whatever I find, I'll try and show it to you. All right, so we just came across this gopher frog. My lifer, these frogs only live near go in gopher tortoise burrows or near gopher tortoise burrows so um that is really cool and it's a frog i've never seen before we just got a coral snake we just got a coral snake all right everyone so yeah that coral snake was honestly such a huge surprise i was honestly this whole i mean the habitat that we're in right now i've just been thinking diving back diving back diving back and then completely forgot about oh yeah we have the chance to see a coral snake and I think I was so excited and so shocked, I forgot to hit the record button on my phone until the snake was pretty much off the road. So the footage that you see was a clip that Will got of it. So that's obviously, that's Will's life for coral snake and a really cool find to the day. I did wish I, we were able to get some better footage of it because the road 
would have been just perfect for photos but maybe we'll see another one starting to get a little warm now we'll probably cruise for another hour and then we'll just go back into town when it gets too hot um, but we'll see what we can find all right so we have our first gopher tortoise of the day this guy you can see he came across the road here and he's right over here it's starting to get hot now so i don't know how much longer we'll be able to see snakes but this is a male gopher tortoise it looks like a male we can tell because of that guller scoot that's just right there um, they stick out a little more in males but yeah pretty cool he wasn't too happy and kind of in the shade here but we'll let him be and we'll keep on going and see what else we can find All right, so hidden in the bark right here, that looks to be an eastern fence lizard. I'm pretty sure this is an eastern fence lizard or, lizard or some other scrub lizard. Zoom in a little more. Um, this is a native species. I have not seen one of these guys this year, so we're going to try and actually get to this lizard and maybe get some better sh footage. All right, so here is, I'm pretty sure these are eastern fence lizards. So yeah, these are pretty common in the pine forests of the southeast in the coastal plains, so pretty cool find all right so we were finally able to get one of these i'm pretty almost 100 percent sure these are fence lizards um but yeah they're really cool they actually have these super keel they're oop, he's on your shirt i don't know where he went hold on a second all right so the fence lizard's just on the back of will right here just hanging on but yeah you can kind of see they have these keeled scales on the back. Zoom in a little more right there. But yeah, they're really stunning lizards. They go all the way up into New York, I believe. So they're all along the East Coast and they really prefer these pine areas. So really cool find. The males have more blue on them. This is a female because she doesn't have as much blue. We're also outside the breeding season, but just absolutely stunning animals. It's really cool to be seeing native lizards in Florida when living in the Everglades area, all you see are invasives. All right. All right, so we have another fence lizard on this fallen stick here. So, really stunning one. Definitely the pattern's a little more defined. Really cool. All right, we just got a big pygmy rattlesnake on the road. This is our fifth pygmy rattlesnake in North Florida. And this is the first one that we road cruise. Check this guy out. He's rattling his tail and everything. That's absolutely awesome. Oh, we can... You can hear the buzz. Awesome find. What a beautiful snake. There's a pygmy just curled up. You can hear the sound of that rattle. It's probably the most buttons I've ever seen on a pygmy rattlesnake. Awesome. All right, we got this storm that's kind of brewing in right now. It is passing, so what we're doing is we're going to wait a little bit and see how that impacts um, snakes crossing the road if the storm passes is that going to draw snakes onto the road in my experience rain passing d does lead to snakes crossing roads we'll see if that's the case here 
All right, so the storm is not passing, as you can clearly tell, so we are just going to call it an early night and head back. Um, and if we, unless we do find something interesting along the side on our way back, um, you'll probably see us the next day, hopefully with some drier conditions. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day here in North Florida. Today's adventure, we are going to be heading out to one more final spot with Will. Will and his dad are taking off, um, going back home to New England. So we're going to do some herping this morning before it gets too hot in another sandhill area, hoping to see some snakes. Afterwards, I'm going to take some time off during the heat of the day and then I'm going to venture even further north into North Florida and do some more road cruising later in the day. So we're going to get back on the road here. I had to stop because we're by this beautiful body of water. We can hear the birds calling in a beautiful morning sunrise with trees draped in Spanish moss. So I'm going to get back on the road and we're going to get to the site pretty shortly and hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Okay, everyone, so we are um, leaving the spot from this morning that we were hiking and road cruising around in and did not find a single snake. The only herbs we found were a couple of fence lizards that darted across the road. So other than that, it was mostly unproductive. Temperatures are starting to get really hot right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work working my way back um, to the place that I'm staying at. And I'm going to basically spend pretty much the rest of the morning and afternoon there. In the evening, I'm going to head up further north into Florida, and we're going to do some cruising up there. So I'm going to pretty much take a pause for the next several hours, and I'll pick up with you again once I'm working my way up to northern Florida. Okay, everyone, so we are at the road that I'm going to be cruising in north Florida. I'm going to do several passes on this road. It's sunset right now, and hopefully we get to see some snakes on it. So this is technically the second snake on the night. This is a young ribbon snake that I've just road cruised. Get a zoom in a little more on him there. So I had another snake earlier, but I got off the road. It was much bigger than this. I didn't know what it was. Um, but yeah, snakes are definitely moving, so we'll just keep doing passes and see what else we can find. But first snake that I've been able to get footage of, and it's a ribbon snake. We'll make sure this guy gets off the road. I just got another snake. Literally right, I looked up from the ribbon, and I got this. This is a garter snake, and it's I've never seen a garter snake with this defined checkering before. That's really awesome. So we already have three snakes on the night. Um, a ribbon, a garter, and some unknown larger snake. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find. Well, this is exciting, everyone. I think I have just road cruised. This is a young rat snake on the road. I'm pretty sure this is a young rat snake. But yeah, I just saw this guy working his way onto the road. I think this might be a young gray rat snake. I'm not 100% sure as to what the complexes are here, but I may get some pictures of this guy, and then we'll keep on going. But four snakes on the night so far, so I think that's pretty cool. Okay, everyone, um, I am officially at the spot that I'm going to be camping at, and I'm going to call it a night here. It's a little after 11 o'clock. Um, did see a few snakes on the road, but honestly, things were kind of quiet, more so than I was expecting. So I'm just going to get try and get some sleep here, get up early in the morning, and we're just going to hit up all these dirt roads that, were, sur that are surrounding us right now and just try and look for snakes and... Hopefully we have some good luck tomorrow. So until then. Good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you from the forest of North Florida today. It is just before sunrise. And yeah, I've woke, I've been up for about half an hour, maybe since 6.30. It's almost 7 right now. And what I'm going to do is as the sunlight comes up a bit, I'm going to wait 
Um, but I'm going to start cruising here. I'm going to road cruise for several hours in this forest area. And we're just going to go around and look for snakes. And, and basically I'm going to stay here until I find the snake that I'm targeting. And once that happens and maybe I get a couple of them, we'll start working our way south. Um, I have work the next day. I am pretty much almost in Georgia right now. So I have to go all the way down Peninsula, Florida to get back to the Everglades. But hopefully this morning is productive. And yeah, if, if I find something, I'll show it to you. I finally got an alive snake on the day, and it is a huge Florida cottonmouth that just disappeared that way. Oh, you can still kind of see the outline of him right here. So, let's see if we can get a little closer. That is a monster cottonmouth that was on the side of this road here. So. Yeah, it, we've, I've been cruising for quite some time today, honestly over three hours, and I have not seen a live snake. So I think we're on a good road right now, so we're going to keep driving this and see if we can find some, some more snakes. Hey everyone, so just a little update right here. I decided to stop and look around this fallen tree just to see if there's any snakes around it. And so far I haven't seen anything. Um, temperatures are pushing into the mid 80s right now. I've been road cruising for about five hours this morning and the only live snake that I've seen is a floor, has been that large Florida cottonmouth. Um, overall so far I think things have been productive in a sense here. We have seen four species of snakes at this site but we haven't, oop, oop, there's a green anole right there fanning and everything. So that's really cool. That's my first green anole in a while. These are nat the only native anole that we have to the US. And in the Everglades, all I see are brown anoles. So to get a green anole is pretty cool. So there's that. All right, everyone. I have made a very spontaneous decision to continue north out of North Florida and have just crossed into the state of Georgia. Um, it's the early afternoon right now, so what I'm going to try and do is, I know this area of South Georgia very well. I'm going to hit up some dirt roads and try and continue my search for the target species that I was finding in North Florida, as well as some other s snakes, and after that I'm just going to hightail it down to the Everglades, so we'll see how this goes. Well, we have our first alive herp in the state of Georgia. This is a gopher tortoise. And here in South Georgia, they are very common. So, well, I shouldn't say very common. They're very concentrated. So, um, but yeah, we're going to let this guy be. He's just wandering around and maybe we'll find some other cool herps here in the short time that we're in this state. So those are all feral hogs that are working their way onto the road here. Obviously these are a major invasive problem in the southeast and they're coming straight towards us. They'll probably work their way right off the road. I've never seen this many feral hogs at once in the state of Georgia. So yeah, kind of again, big problem, but yeah, they're around. See how close we can get to them. They're probably going to take off into the woods here. All right. Well, that didn't take super long, but we have an American alligator, which in South Georgia along the Florida border are ever present, especially the area that we are in right now. 
may get a couple pictures of this guy and then we're going to keep on going. But things in Georgia have been looking pretty good so far. All right, we have our first lizard in the state of Georgia and it's displaying its namesake. It's one we've already seen on this trip. That little guy poking its head out from the fence post is an eastern fence lizard. And as I mentioned, they are pretty common in Pine Barren Forest in the coastal plain up to New York. So there's a better look at this one right here. I don't think the camera's really focusing in on him. So we have another fence lizard that's sitting on the edge of this cabin. And it looks like it might be a male based on the blue color. Oh, it's a male. You probably can't really make it out, but he's got a lot of blue coloration underneath his neck and body. So females are, do not have that much blue on them. Well, I didn't see this at first, but that is a huge fence lizard that's just sitting on this foundation block here. So that looks like it's probably a female. She kind of looks like she might even be gravid, but there's a better look right there. So yeah. Pretty cool. It's really, really hot right now, and I'm actually, you can see there looks like there's snake tracks that are around, so I'm looking underneath this foundation structure here, and I haven't seen any snakes taking shelter, but nothing is going to be out, especially in this sand right here. It's just way too hot for snake movement. So it's raining right now, and there's a gopher tortoise who has just worked his way or off the road in this rainy weather that we're experiencing. So there goes the tortoise. It's the second one that we've seen. And yeah, this guy sure wants to get dry off, wants to dry off, so we'll just let him be. But I've never seen a gopher tortoise in the rain before. So there's a look at him. Pretty cool. Two gopher tortoises in Georgia so far. Well, we got our first snake in Georgia, and it's our sixth dusky pygmy rattlesnake of the trip. This is another big dusky pygmy, like the one that we found in North Florida. But I've been cruising these dirt roads hoping to see a snake, and yeah, we got... Uh, it's not the viper that I was looking for, or the rattlesnake that I was looking for, but we'll take it. This is a really good, like I said, a really good sized dusky pygmy. He's going to go zooming down that way. All right, so I got some boards here that are surrounded by water. Underneath the first board, no herps. It's very wet underneath. I don't think there's going to be anything. Let's try this other side. I don't see anything. No. Ow. Ow, I'm getting bit by an ant. There might have been fire ants under there. That's not good. Oh, that hurt. That really hurt. Yeah, these boards are just completely soaked. I'm just passing by. I flipped to these boards before, but... Yeah, I don't think anything's gonna be under. There's one more. Oh God, that ant bite really hurt. Oh, that's dry, but nothing's under it. All right, gonna flip a couple of these boards right here. And it's very wet, so I doubt anything's gonna be under them, but I'm not gonna pass by this area again, so. And there's water under this one. I think that one's just completely submerged. I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Okay, everyone, just a very fair warning. What I'm about to show is graphic, but it is a snake that I have never seen before. I found it over there in between the off and on ramps, and this is the snake. This is likely a DOR rainbow snake because of the stripes that you can see here that are running on the back, because of these stripes here. This is definitely a Francia, but I'm pretty sure this is our DOR rainbow snake that I just found, but it looks 
like almost like a cross between a mud and a rainbow. Very unfortunate and honestly really depressing that this snake is dead. I would have loved to have seen this snake alive, but we just got this, and that's how big I guess the snake is for reference. We just got an insane amount of rain here in South Georgia, and I'm pretty sure it drew the snake onto the road. It decided to cross near a highway, and it got hit right in the head, so likely the snake was intentionally killed. Again, I am sorry for the gore and the, de and the fact that it's a DOR, but this is a really unique and potentially noteworthy observation. So... Okay, everyone, so I am officially wrapping up this herping trip up Peninsular Florida, which ended up ending in South Georgia. I'm pretty much right on the Florida border now. But I did want to quickly recap. Starting off in Central Florida, I was very happy that we got four pygmy rattlesnakes. That was the ultimate target because at that spot I had um, failed to find them in a previous visit. I was hoping to see Scarlet King Sinks because I knew they were there, but it didn't happen. Totally fine. And then as we worked our way to our first part of Northern Florida, I mean, seeing two black bears was really cool. Got my lifer gopher frog, but um, I think personally the highlight was the eastern coral snake. The, I was, com again, had completely forgot that that was even a possibility. Um, the fact we pulled it off was great. Wish we could have gotten an eastern diamondback or an eastern coach whip, especially for Will, because he really wanted to catch one, but I think we honestly made out, did pretty good there with the eastern fence lizards and the, um, the one pygmy rattlesnake and the black racer i my main target the last basically 24 hours has been a timber rattlesnake and in florida they reach the absolute southern limit of their range they just make it barely down in the florida so i was searching in that area i probably cruised there for five hours this morning and then had to cruise three hours the night before so eight hours of cruising walking around didn't see any so I decided to spontaneously go up into Georgia because I knew timber rattlesnakes were more common there. Unfortunately, didn't see any. The pygmy rattlesnake I found, I thought for a split second, was a timber because it was on a road where timbers have been seen. So I was a little disappointed, but happy to see another pygmy. And then I really hate to end the video on that DOR uh, rainbow snake. I'm confirming that it was a rainbow snake because those are such freaking rare and hard to find snakes in the state of Georgia and where I found it might be pretty significant because they do not occur in Florida and I'm pretty close to the border so I may make a note of that and try and report that observation really depressing to end there but overall this and I'm going really long on this outro here this was a really fun trip I am really happy that I was able to do it both the stretches in South Florida with Will and then herping up with him to North Florida and then this last stretch I did by myself. And yeah, I'm going to embark in an attempt to drive now to the Everglades and I, my estimated time of arri arrival is probably gonna be, I'd say around 1 a.m. So I'm in for a long night, trying to get down there safely. Just topped off on gas, got some food. We'll see how it goes. All right, I will see you in the next video.